Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Arizona Dreams. Subscribers appreciate you. New viewers subscribe so you can get some cool videos like the one that we are about to do. This guy looks like a little handy flashlight. It's actually a blue light, or black light rather, um, so it shines kind of blue looking light. And when you go outside and you shine around, you will find bark scorpions. Uh, and they glow like a neon uh, light or whatever, but bright greenish yellow light. This is what I'm going to refer to as the Hammer of Thor. Why? Because I'm going to squash them with this. Uh, yes, I realize that this isn't going to reduce my numbers too much, but it is going to make me feel better. Why do I want to feel better? Because one of those darn suckers got into my bed and bit me on my big toe, stung me with his stinger on my big toe. So there's a little bit of vengeance there for me. Plus, and I think this is probably creepier than what happened to me, it was crawling around on my wife's chest her back and her belly. Same one, same night. Uh, I woke up at five something in the morning to a nice pop. Uh, so we spray and we hammer and we light and we do all kinds of fun stuff now to try to find them. So join us. So tonight we're scorpion hunting. Oh my God. Black light, hammer, Oh, baby, too. That was a mama. Still dead, but still glows. And there's the baby right there. Both of them dead. Uh, I'm hoping I'm able to get you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> One, two. Well, we knew they were out in droves, and I sprayed the house tonight, so they're going to be pushed away from the side of the house, but both those guys are dead. So, this one was a spray kill, and then I squashed it with the mallet just to make sure. Pretty crazy. Well, like I said, since I sprayed today, I would not expect to see any near the areas that I sprayed. And I sprayed from the tire line there up to the wall and all the way around. Now, so now they could be in, in cracks like this because I didn't spray these. It would take me way too long to spray all these cracks. This guy is actually on the neighbor's house. But neighbor's house? And now it's a dead one. Scorpion with baby. Uh, uh, miss. No. Oh my god. Miss. Here I miss. Now it's in several pieces. Yeah. <laughs> already dead. <laughs> now I'm out of spray but you can see the claw or whatever of that one down there and obviously I can't get to him. Oh, he just maybe I can pile him in with some rocks or something. Oh well if I had spray I'd spray him and he'd die. See him? Or her? Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, she survived the first hit. Bye bye, baby. Dead baby. Uh, as you're aware, we've been hunting scorpions and trying to protect the house against scorpions. And I wanted to talk about what I'm spraying with. This is taro. Uh, it's supposed to, it has a good reputation. Basically, you spray on the exterior of the wall from about here and up to about six inches to a foot high. Uh, and the idea is to coat the entire exterior. Now, there's other things you're supposed to do, but this is our spray defense, and then if I see any, and I can't get to them to squash them, I can spray them. This won't kill them right away, just because of the type of arachnid that they are, um, but it will eventually get them killed. So, spray with this, hammer with that, get some boric uh, acid, I think it is, uh, and you can put that down. I can't think of the name of the cleaning product, but uh, yeah, so there you go. So now I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, you got to see me wield the hammer, sometimes poorly and sometimes very well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the show, and I hope you start to understand why people are complaining so much about bark scorpions. You know, subscribe, share, like, comments down below, ring the bell when you subscribe. Check back for the next video, and take care.